Hello and welcome to tutorial number two on Advanced Steel and Dynamo. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to set the section type, the section material and also how to set user attributes for the beam we're going to create. So as you can see on my screen I've split it into two. On the left we have Advanced Steel, on the right we have our Dynamo application. I'm going to start with, I'm just going to create a very simple steel beam. So I'm going to start with a point by coordinate and I'm going to add some numbers to generate the points that we wish to see. So I'm just going to drag my number, so I'm going to put 0x, 0y for my first point. I'm going to copy this down and I'm going to create a z coordinate. And we've created point 0.1 and point 0.2. So this is going to be just a, a vertical column, so I'm going to go straight in and create my steel beam. So I extend my advanced steel node selection go straight to beams and I'll go to a straight beam and add the node straight into dynamo so with my start point of 0 comma 0 and my second point of 2500 in the z coordinate I now need to just set the vector orientation of my beam so I just search for my vector and I want to rotate it in the x-axis. So I've got my two points and I've got my definition for creating my beam and I'm just going to click the run button and within Dynamo and within Advanced Steel you can see that I simply have created a vertical column. So let's start looking at some of the new additions within the latest release of Dynamo for Advanced Steel and we have the ability now to start tagging components within our Dynamo script. So first things first let's see can we create and specify the actual beam section. So we add the beam section node into Dynamo and let's have a look at what it's looking for. So it's looking for two key elements. One is the beam element. So this is actually the two points from which we're defining Dynamo. So that's a relatively simple case of dragging a straight beam node and connect it to the beam section. So the section name is going to be a code block and what it relies on is the profile master table codes and what we want to do is go into our management tools and we want to read the profile table that is being used. So I'm just going to load my settings and then I'm going to look for the profile master table. Now the code block within Dynamo will look for the type name text of the particular section that we wish to use. So I'm just going to scroll down now. What I want to create on this one is just create a simple flat section. So I'm just going to scroll down my list to find my flat section and it will get the type name text. I'm just going to sort this by name and there we have, you can see that it is based upon flat natch din. So I'm going to go back to my Dynamo and I'm going to start a script and I'm going to type flat Matched in, and this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So, to call up a section within Dynamo, you need to put in the following. So, it's hashtag at, and then we must use the symbol or the section symbol. Um, so, that is done by selecting Alt 0167, and you can see that this simply adds the symbol, and then it's at hashtag. Okay, so what we've done is we've called the section type. Now we need to go back and actually look at what section we may want to use. So in this case, if we go to the flat section, so this code is calling this catalog library, and then we simply enter the type of plate that we wish to use. And in this case, I want to go with a 100 by 8. So the code after this is FL 100 by 8, and we close the string. So what we have is this and then we drag this to the section name I'm just going to close this down so what we're saying is that it's this profile type and it's this actual section size so once we hit the run command you'll see that the section is then changed to FL 100 by 8 if we want to change it to FL 100 by 25 we can simply go in here and just change the code block click the run command and you can see that the script is now changing so let's look at what else we can start to tag. So let's look at a material definition. So we add the material node to 
our dynamo script and again the element is pretty simple we drag the straight beam straight to the element the material name similar to the definition for the section is also based upon a table within management tools and that is the material table so we go to our aster base and we look at the material table and what it's looking for is the key so I'm going to say that I want my material to be a S235 for instance it will then be a simple case double clicking to add a cold block S235 and we drag the cold block to the material name and just to double check that the material is S275JR currently once we click our dynamo run then check our beam you can see that the material definition is then updated so the last thing we want to do is maybe assign some user attributes so again let's look at the user attribute node and this time it has three inputs the element as before is a very simple case of taking the beam start and end points to the element the attribute index is simply a code block and you simply represent the index from 1 to 10 for your attribute so we know in advanced steel we've got attributes from 1 to 10 and then the value is again a simple code block and we just type in our attribute that we wish to populate we drag that to our value so code block for the attribute index code block for the value click run go to our advanced steel double click it and we see that our section is set the material is set and under user attributes Jonathan is awesome is also set so thank you very much for watching this latest tutorial and we hope to see you again soon with a, another tutorial.